Hi, my name is Rebecca and I am the shop owner at Possum Crochet. Today, I'd like to show you how you can use Google Analytics to get some more specific information about the countries that are visiting your Etsy shop. Now, I'm gonna give you a use case because um, I, I think working from example helps a lot. Uh, I had this um, trend happening in my shop and I noticed this happens periodically where I will get a bunch of orders from certain countries that I haven't had orders from in months. And then they'll die off. And then a few weeks or a few months later, again, I'll get a, a slew of uh, orders from other countries and then they die off. So I wanted to know, you know maybe is Etsy testing something? Is my traffic actually doing that or is it coincidence? Uh, so I tried to set up this report so I could track some of my traffic. So that's just one example of a uh, reason you might want to know this. You might also want to know it for other um, purposes, marketing wise or anything else, but um, I'll show you how to get this created now so that you can have it for later in case you ever need to get any more information here. So let's dive right into this. You'll need to log into Google Analytics. Under the customization tab, go to custom reports. This is where you can build any of your own reports. It gets a little bit complicated though, so I'm not going to go into all the details of how to set up different reports. I'm just going to give you the information you need to create this visits by country report. So we're going to go ahead and click on new custom report. And in this field, you could name it whatever you want. I called mine visits by country, so I'd remember what it is. And you can call this whatever you want. Again, the important thing is just you remember what it is. You can find it in Google Analytics. And then we want to go down to metrics group. And here, we're going to just type in page views. And we want this one under users, page views. You don't have to worry about adding more. You don't have to worry about anything else. If you're fluent with analytics, go for it. If you feel comfortable, you want to play around with it, go for it. But for the purposes of our little report that I'm setting up here, just go to page views, add that in, and then go down to dimension drill downs. Again, you can explore all these if you want to, but all we really need here is to type in country and select that. This is gonna give us the very basic report I showed you at the beginning of the video. You click save, and it loads up this report that I showed you. Now, Let's say, this is great, I see all this data here, but I want to see how were my overall views versus my views in the U.S. and my views in, say, United Kingdom over time. Well, what we can do is, you see these little check boxes here? <clears throat> if you click them, and then click on the button that says Plot Rows, It updates your report and it's going to show us our views overall versus our views from the United States versus our views from the United Kingdom. And you can hover over them to see how they correspond. You can also change the dates. At the beginning of the video, I told you guys I was seeing a spike in orders from a certain location from a certain time. I was seeing them on the 24th and the 25th. I'm going to go ahead and change my date range and apply that. And I was also seeing Australia. So maybe I want to compare these three. I would click plot rows. And this really isn't giving us a ton of information. You know, it's kind of a flat line. So it's not super helpful. We kind of want to see that over time. So let's go back up here, change our date range. Let's include a whole week. And now we're just looking for any differences. So here we can see the date those orders came in. There really wasn't anything on the 24th coming through here, but there was some views on the 23rd. So maybe someone saw it and added it to Google Cart or something. But if I look at this, it's also kind of telling me, okay, yeah, my views were up a lot from England and United, in Australia, you see that? I went from you know one view the day before to 17 for Australia, from four to 21. So yeah, those are up, but so are my views from the US, from 139 to two, uh, to 188. So um, 
I would say in this case, I probably just got more publicity somehow and I'd have to go and drill in deeper to figure out what happened on that specific day. But what I was trying to see here was just the overall comparison. Am I getting more international views that day? Well, actually I was getting more views all around. So it's probably not just necessarily international views. Now there are some days, if you drill back in here further, where I've seen, for example, my views from the United States were down. This one, they were down to 102, but they were really up from um, United Kingdom and Australia. I had seven from United Kingdom and 13 from Australia, which is you know not my typical here. So that might be something I'd look into is more information on that day, what happened that day, you know, if I had a lot of views from other countries that day. So that's just one way you can use this little report. I wanted to show it to you in case you ever needed to get that information about your shop. Uh, if you have any questions about how to set up this report, you can send me a quick message or uh, you can leave a comment on this video. Uh, and I'll try to get a few other reports created and set up for you guys so that you can see some more helpful tips. I love Google Analytics for my Etsy shop because when you start out with a problem like this, like again, I have this problem wanting to know what my traffic will look like from international shops, and Google Analytics is really uh, helpful and detailed, and you can set up this custom information to get that uh, information you want in your shop. So I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys go. <laughs> Hope it was helpful, and if you need any help, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.